everyone, so that's me, Monica, and this is the Dodo, actually Labradoodle, whatever, so today we're having a chill day, as you see, I'm drinking coffee as usual, sleeping as usual, yes, my thing. Yeah, so, um, yo, uh, I was thinking today what to do, and I thought that I have a very, very boring jumper, which is, I'm not sure it is even my jumper, I think it's... It's quite big, like I think it would suit my dad, but I bought it for myself and I had it like a, that's gonna be a project. And after a year and a half, I finally found myself time to do it. So basically what I've done, I'll show you in a minute. I bleached a blob on the top and a tiny, tiny that size, that, that size spot on the back completely accidentally. So yeah, I bleached it using just ordinary bleach, which you should not drink. Um, and I will use acrylic and fabric paint for that and all the names and the brands will be in the description below if you want to use the same thing because like that, that paint is just good for me but it, I'm not saying that it's necessarily the best thing you can do so yeah I, I think we can start now yeah let's go there let's go mama Let's go. Let's go paint on the jacket. You want to paint on the jumper, yeah? Do you want to paint? Okay, so first things first, and in order to paint on it what I want to paint, uh, I need to bleach it first. Um, to prevent from bleaching from both sides, like front and back, I pinned um, basically a bin liner in between the layers and this is how I think it should work and the only front would be bleached. But we will see later because most of the times I do fail in that. I am using the bleach cap to spread it around just because I hate to touch the bleach and I think it's not even good for the skin and nails and all that like beauty stuff. I'm not really into that but still I just don't like that hands feel really slippery afterwards so like use probably use gloves yeah because you see what's happening now. Um, or to say before starting the actual painting I washed the jumper in the washing machine before just to remove all the remaining bleach from it and now I'm gonna sketch with a gel pen before using the paint. Um, and talking about paint, I use Pebble fabric paint, which is so far the best ones I ever used for fabric, but it do does not necessarily mean this is the best ones ever in the world. So if you know any other ones who works well for you, please don't hesitate to tell me and I'll try those maybe if, if I like it. And you can see here I'm using quite a lot of water just to try to skim the paint and give just a light like a watercolor like wash of blue as it is the water. Um, because I'm using this fabric paint I don't think it was the best decision because it was quite not quite bright and not quite what I wanted to be. So I just fed up and I switched to ordinary acrylic paint which makes fabric a little bit stiffer, I must admit that, but the color also is much more vibrant, so I'll try to do my best. And it, it just took me ages, I think it took me more than two hours just to do this blue background, and it was drying a long, long, long time. But however, for the bubbles and everything else, I used fabric paint, just because I, I, I like it, it's the best thing. I mean, acrylic works well on fabric, but it makes it stiff, so I wanted to make it as less stiff as possible, even with this amount of blue was painted in acrylics. I should not expect it to be soft, but it's just me trying things, so just let it be.
Um, also, I noticed that when I was using the fabric paint, the Pebble ones, uh, I needed to run through the colors twice just because it was not that bright as I wanted it to be. I don't know why, because these paints I have is quite old right now, so maybe I'm saving too much, maybe I'm using too much water, or maybe they are a little bit too old for that. So, But like, if you're planning to buy a new set for certain project, I think it, it will be just the best thing you ever had, unless you know something else. Yeah, for details, of course, I'm using very fine brush and you know those things in the in the fish's mouth it's not just cigarettes but if you don't understand what it is you will grow to that don't you worry I'm not gonna tell or promote anything you just I think it's cool yeah so the painting is almost finished and what I'm doing just adding some smokes and lightening up a little bit the seaweeds and finally putting some glitter just to jazz it up a little bit because I mean it's cool but with glitter it's even better so I honestly cannot take it off because I love it so much and yeah I mean it's a little bit stiff though but I'm gonna wash it a couple more times and I think it's gonna be really cool like softer it's already cool yeah, so if you like it, do the same thing, not the same same, but like do something on your jumper. Subscribe for my channel and see you next video. Bye!